Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, and so we're back in Bob Goff's book, Live in Grace, Walk in Love. I want to let you know this is going to be the last Tuesday in which we're going to be reading our devotions as we approach the holidays and the season of Advent. We're going to be taking on um, some new things, and so uh, be checking out the e-blast to look at those because uh, we've got a lot of really exciting things planned over the next month between now and Christmas. But here's our last devotion entitled, Every Time I Tell God About My Opinions, He Asks Me About My Heart. From Psalm chapter 1, verse 3, That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Bob writes, When we have friends up to the lodge in Canada, sometimes everyone agonizes, excuse me, not agonizes, recognizes someone as an artist or a mystic or a poet. They're thoughtful and quiet. They listen and rub their chins a lot. Because I wake up waving my arms, I'm thankful for the contrast that is apparent when we have an artist, mystic, poet with us. We'll do these devotionals overlooking the inlet, and I'll ask this person to read a poem or a passage of the Bible. When they do it, it feels more meaningful and engaging. They make us all feel at ease and drawn into deeper waters. I have no idea how, but I'm grateful. Because of people like this, I decided to spend some time in the Psalms. David was a poet. And he kept it incredibly real about his hopes, fears, doubts, and questions. The Psalms say things we're often too afraid to say out loud or too busy to notice. The Psalms give us a vocabulary for sharing secret thoughts and teach us what hope looks like when we're having trouble finding it. I think God gave us the Psalms to remind us our hearts matter. In a world where ideas, doctrine, busyness, and success get so much recognition, we forego an inner life, and in doing so, we neglect our emotions. God wants a relationship with us, and relationships involve an emotional connection. If your life is feeling wrung out and a little empty, turn to a poet or a musician who is tuned into the deeper things. Open up the Psalms. They can help us feel our way back to God. Our question for today, how can you nurture your inner life today? Great question. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye.